Unrest in the streets of Minsk for the second day running, leaving one protester dead. The demonstrations come as weekend elections saw strongman President Alexander Lukashenko win a landslide victory. Many protesters here say the election was a sham. Police shot tear gas, rubber bullets and flashbang grenades at demonstrators and were seen hitting and kicking protesters lying on the ground. Dozens of people were detained. The United Nations is calling for restraint and dialogue, while the US also expressed concerns. Severe restrictions on ballot access for candidates, prohibition of local independent observers at polling stations, intimidation of opposition candidates, and the detention of peaceful protesters and journalists have marred the process. And we urge the Belarusian government to respect the right of peace, to peaceably assemble and to refrain uh, from use of force. Lukashenko has been in power since 1994 and is known as the last dictator in Europe. He'd faced off against an unlikely opponent, Svetlana Tikhonovskaya, who only ran because her husband had been imprisoned and wouldn't be able to. She pledged to liberate political prisoners and stepped down after holding free and fair elections. After her defeat, she filed a complaint with the country's electoral commission and is thought to have fled the country.